Hi, I'm Ishvan Zawacki, and welcome to our behind the scenes featurette for Randy Brumley Presents Hypnotized, Notorious B.I.G. The Musical. I've been a fan of music impresario Randy Brumley from the days when he was the founding member of the group Resplendent Accolade. They were a band that merged the worlds of progressive rock and mime in a way that blew our minds and changed the world forever. Well, the man is back, and this time he's the behind-the-scenes genius who put the golly in Svengali. It's my duty to keep current on the trends in this biz we call show. And the hot nut these days is the pop music musical. It started with the success of Mamma Mia, the ABBA musical. Then the ball really got wrong with We Will Rock You, the Queen musical. And Moving Out, which features Billy Joel tunes. So you saw what was going on, which way the wind was blowing. So you put on a pop music musical of your own. And I'm talking about Baby One More Time, the Britney Spears musical, which had a successful run at the All Souls Coffee House. But you decide that you really need to push the envelope. So what was your next move? Well, that's when I decided to produce the first rap musical tribute. It's about the life of the notorious B.I.G. The result is hypnotized, the notorious B.I.G. story. To be honest, it was tough finding the lead because Mr. Smalls has some B.I.G. shoes to fill if you know what I'm saying. A lot of guys had the look, but they didn't have the acting chops. Then Trent walked in one day, and I knew I had my biggie. It was the kismet, baby. Randy didn't originally have me in mind to play Biggie Smalls, but, you know, since we worked together on Red Dirt Roundup, he knew my considerable acting talents, and that I'd be both fat and fresh for the role. So do you think people may have trouble accepting you in the role of the notorious B.I.G.? You know, that might happen initially, but once I hit the stage, I'll win them over. In a character-driven piece like this, it's all about the acting anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, besides, did Al Pacino ever deal drugs or run a crime family? Did Robert De Niro ever step into the ring or drive a taxi? Is Paris Hilton really a stuck-up aristocrat? I've read in the tabloids that you and Randy had some creative differences during uh, rehearsals. Do you have any comments on that? Yeah, you know, sometimes I'd be wanting to do a scene, and he'd be wanting me to do it all crunk, and I'd be wanting to do it all skanky, and, you know, we just, we just couldn't meet heads on that. Sometimes it, it just it was an artistic difference. So how did you resolve these disagreements? Being a method actor, when I'm defining a part, I'm in character 24 hours a day. So I just went and shot up as you go. With Biggie cast, my next greatest challenge would be casting B.I.G.'s producer and best friend, Sean Puff Daddy Combs. Mm -hmm. Puffy is a very complex individual as well as being a living legend and a luminary. So I knew I had to find just the right person. I probably had twice as many people audition for Puffy as I did for Biggie. And then of course he was right under my nose. He, we were there in pre-production for Red Dirt Roundup. And Rex had on this puce velour flow nausea jogging suit. It was a real light bulb moment. Initially, he didn't want to do it, so I gave him some BS, you know, about reconnecting with his roots on the stage. <laughs> and he went for that. I guess, you know, I guess I saw it as a chance to reconnect with my roots on the stage. See, I didn't know you were a stage actor. I knew that you played in rock bands, um, especially since you were the lead singer and fiddle player for the southern rock combo Whiskey Vendetta. Right. Well, I, I was never a pure stage actor. Most of the bands I was in played on a stage of some sort. Uh, and then I've also done a lot of television work. Uh, in fact, one of the original Quick Trip TV spots, I played a vet. A vet? And, uh, yeah, I, I took Lamar's temperature, remember, the shaggy dog? Oh, a veterinarian. No, 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 a Vietnam vet. I just happened to have a thermometer in my pocket. 
I uh, see. I walked in to the, the, ask the clerk, you know, something, and he IDs me. And I said, mm -hmm. they didn't ask for my ID in Phnom Penh. And and then the dog comes running up. And and uh, man, that was a long time ago. But, but anyway, the point is, th this piece combines my my twin passions of music and acting. And, and I'll admit, at first I had doubts about playing Puff Daddy. And, and, and in fact, uh, to get me in there that first day, Randy told me that the it was a musical about the Eagles, and I'd be playing Joe Walsh. <laughs> you know, and uh, that 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 was kind of funny. Biggie says, "P Diddy, you move over here. P Diddy moves over here." Hey, P Diddy, you're P Diddy. Who's Wake Diddy? up! Who's P Diddy? I'm, I'm Puff Daddy. You are, dude. You're, you're P Diddy. I'm playing two parts now? What, it's, it's like a schizophrenic kind of new thing? You moron. P. Diddy is a Puff Daddy. Oh, oh, I'm I, Do you okay. even know who Puff Daddy is? He, yeah, I mean, he's like that race car driver, right? Maybe you're thinking of Dick Trickle. Oh, oh yeah, I am, sorry. Okay, Diddy, Daddy, Diddy, Daddy. I would imagine getting the rights to use the music would be a complex process. Hmm? Well, the fact that a lot of the music was sampled seems like that would complicate getting the music rights. I don't follow. You did legally obtain the right to use the music of Puff Daddy and Notorious B.I.G. And also the original authors of the tunes they sampled, right? You have to do that? Well, unless you want them to sue you and take your house. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> Having seen the final dress rehearsal, I think it's obvious that Brumley and Co. have a winner on their hands. I don't want to jinx it, but I think these guys are about to get their due in a really big way. I don't want to taint the process by doing some blatant campaigning, but I'm thinking spot awards. I'm Ishvan Zawacki, and much love to my peeps in the PMFC. That's the Promenade Mall food court, y'all. Peace out. Yo. Thank <laughs> you.